Budget meeting in Santa Maria drew demonstrators from three separate groups tonight upset over what's being cut and what's being left in the budget. News Channel reporter Annika Abbott joins us live from City Hall to tell us what happened tonight. Annika. That city council meeting ended just over an hour ago. City council members debated over how to balance the budget after losing millions of dollars during the coronavirus pandemic. Ultimately, they decided to approve the budget four to one with recommendations. There were a couple of hot topics on the agenda. The first was when to reopen the Paul Nelson swimming pool, which drew protesters to City Hall today, many of whom were members of the swim team. With swimming, you really need to be swimming pretty much every day. Like um, basically a week break will set you back months. So having a year of no swimming, especially with like the quarantine and everything, um, it'll, it'll set us back years. This council is looking into how to open the pool as soon as possible before they initially proposed by moving around the general fund. They were looking at keeping the pool closed at least through the end of the year, which would have saved the city hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that would leave the swim team without a pool. Also up for debate tonight was police funding and public safety funding, which drew Black Lives Matter protesters and counter protesters in, in favor of keeping police funded. We respect a lot of the police officers and we know their families, we know they're good people, but they're contributing to a system where it could potentially be brutality against minorities. My father was a policeman for 35 years and I just believe in the rule of law and it's just, it's absurd to think that we don't want police in this world. They talked at length about the use of Measure U, which was voted on to fund first responders. Looking at other budget items, council members discussed keeping the library closed through September to save money. Along with the pool, they are looking at reallocating the general fund, around $550,000 worth towards the library, the pool, and also the mayor's youth uh, task force for safety so that they can keep those programs open as soon as possible. I'm here live in Santa Maria. Annika Abbott, back to you.